Welcome again to Drawing with Cheesecake the Cat. I'm Cheesecake. So this is another Putting It All Together episode, and this time we're going to draw a forest scene. So far, we've drawn a grizzly bear, a bunny rabbit, a hollow tree, and a fallen log. And also some forest objects like a beehive, a bush, some dirt, and some trees for the background. If it sounds like a good idea to you, I think we should go draw our forest scene. So grab something to draw with, something to draw on, and follow me. All right, so let's draw our forest scene. So this time I'm going to use a fine and a heavy marker, because this time in the foreground we had a, a beehive you might remember. So let's draw part of a tree going straight down. We'll do a little notch, and then we'll make a short branch. We'll come under here and angle it down, getting wider as we go back. We'll do another bump, bump, and then we'll continue this all the way down. Now we'll do a few branches here, fingering off of the tree. Just make them however you like, some squiggly lines. There's no right or wrong way. But right here, let's make a little curved line like so. We'll make it straight like that. Now we're going to make our beehive. Our beehive, so let's make a curve. Then we'll make a little further out to one side and bring it around about the same distance on the other side. Then we'll come down and repeat it, going a little bit bigger again, like so. Now here, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna make a straight line right here. And this one, instead of getting bigger, will be the same size, You're right in the middle. Now we have three here, we're gonna do three more, oops. Let's see if that messed us up. So we'll just do another one, and another one, and another one. So you see my mistake, but what we'll do this time is we'll actually just work our mistake into our picture. So we hide it by putting some lines on the side for a little texture. And look at that. You never hardly know it's there. Now right here, let's put a circle. And let's put, a, fill it in so there's a crescent shape. And that is our beehive. So let's add a little bit of bark on the bottom of the branch. Just alternating lines. And then when we get to here, we can do something a little different. Something like that. Now let's bring down some vertical lines and I'm making them a little bit wiggly as we go. And we'll just space them out, just randomly place them. Different lengths, whatever you think looks nice. Look at that. And we can actually add some texture on the side if you like. Maybe not every bit of every line, but we'll just here and there. Look at that, looking so nice. I'm doing it kind of fast, but there's really not much to it. You just go to your line and pull a little line off the side, like so. Now this is where I used, oh, by the way, let's put a few leaves on this branch. So make a, a curve and a sort of a two directional curve, curve down, curving up. That sounds backwards, but anyway, that looks good. So now I'm going to put away the heavy marker because that marker was for the foreground object. Now here, we're going to draw our broken tree in the distance. So let's put a straight line about that big. And then on the top, we're just going to make a series of jagged, irregular shapes until we get over here to about where we want, about the width of our tree. 
and we'll bring this down and then we'll put another notch similar to that notch and let's just bring it up and this is a broken branch so we'll just make some zigzags on the end we'll continue this down a little bit lower and put another notch and another branch on the other side you can make them fairly straight or a little wavy or crooked and then we'll just continue our line down to the bottom of our tree you can make it get a little bigger as you get down to the bottom if you like now this tree has some grass at the bottom so we'll do some zigzags and some straight well they're not really straight but just some standalone blades of grass and that is our tree in the ground and this tree had a hole in the middle right here we had an owl if you remember from our our other lesson so now after we've drawn our oval or our circle we'll make a little crescent at the top and a slightly smaller crescent at the bottom and then we'll color those in black because what we're going to draw here is an owl's face peeking out of the tree so I'm going to make a nice round eye and another and you can put a little line in there if you like depends on how fine your drawing implement is then two arches over the eye and we'll make a sort of an oval with a point at the bottom and that's the beak now let's do squiggles down our tree sort of like we did on this tree but when we do them, we'll keep them away from the circle. And I'll show you here in a moment why. So around that circle, let's just put a few just curves. And you can put some lines in the bottom of your branch. Now these, this might have been a pine tree. So let's make large chunks like this by drawing these lines. And you stagger them like bricks, if you like. One here, one here. And you can put two together, three. And keep them irregular. And you put them wherever you think they look good. And that is our tree. Now in the background, we might have a bush or two. So let's draw a bush right here in the middle. And remember, later when you draw your picture, this is a good practice, but you can put your bear right here uh, and things like that. So let's put some zigzag grass in front. Just zigzagging it and we'll make a few waves here. These are these waves point have points going up because these leaves are pointing down. We'll put some zigzags on the side. Now back here, let's make our horizon line right like this and stopping it imagining it goes behind our other objects like so and then back here we're going to draw our pine trees so let's start with an upside down v then you just zig it in and zag it out and just keep repeating this and each one goes further out than the one before zig it in zag it out and we'll just make different, different sizes, different heights. Some are wide, some are narrow. And I try not to connect them to the foreground objects. I just think it looks better, but that's my preference. How you do it is up to you. And we're just going to make a few more through the middle. I think I'll make a very skinny one here. And I'll angle my lines at a steeper angle. And the nice thing with trees is they don't have to be perfect because in nature, everything is a little bit out of whack. And that's what makes it so special. Look at that one, how tall he is. Let's put him very close to another tall one. You see that? Wow. And then a the short one fading off behind that. Sometimes I connect, but don't worry. Now in between these, let's just make a few loosely sketched, not perfectly straight. They can be bent, they can be different heights. Let's put one over here too, a little shorter one, a little fatter. 
these are other pine trees that didn't quite make it for some reason. They have short branches and long branches, broken branches. Maybe one there. And we're just going to put them all over. Sometimes you find trees like that in, in nature. Some, some are old. Maybe they got hit by lightning. So this is the main background. Now here, we had a fallen log. So draw a straight line there. Make a branch angling up. And you can make it perfectly straight up or angle, but keep it a little fat at the bottom. A little curve underneath it. And continue this line like so. And I'm going to put a couple of uh, points on that. And then right here, we're going to parallel the other one. I'm going to stop maybe right there. And I'm going to continue leaving a gap. And this gap is where I'm going to put a few zigzag blades of grass. Now, this is a hollow log, so we're going to, and it's broken, so we're going to do irregular zigzags going curving inward, then another set curving outward. This makes our hollow log look like it's round. And here we're going to curve it outward. Maybe make a big split. You can mix it up however you like. And then here we're going to draw a loose irregular line all, all the way around the inside. And then we're going to fill this black with curves. See that like a curve shape? Then we'll space it out. So it looks like the log is hollow. Then we're going to put a line, broken line along the top edge close to the line. Same on the bottom. Then we're going to do one or two in the middle, a little wider spaced. And when we put our, our pine tree bark, we're going to curve it a little bit as we go. You see that? And the same here. I should have gone the other way, so let's ignore that. Let's just keep on going. It's one of those mistakes. Don't worry about it. It's a broken tree, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll put some zigzag grass here, some zigzag grass there, some standalone blades of grass here and there. Now we're going to draw a bunny rabbit hiding behind a bush. So make a nice little curve and beginning at the top, leave it open at the bottom with another curve. Then a little notch there and we're going to make a similar line as our second. Those are the ears. Now the head is basically just sort of like drawing, almost like drawing a heart or a strawberry with more of a point at the bottom. So let's give him a big C shape for the eye and a small C shape in the middle and fill it in black with a little eyebrow. Floating eyebrow here and a curve on the outer edge of our line there and an upside down V. We'll put a line, a curve inside the ear. Now we're gonna make a big curve for his body, about like that. And then another curve going the other way for part of his back leg. Then we'll just go forward. They have very long feet, so we'll go forward and curve down like a hook. We'll make a hook and we'll go straight over to the first one. Put two lines for toes, a fluffy cotton tail. Now here, put a short line like that and a little bit longer one here. This is the front leg. We're going to basically draw the same thing we drew there. Some toes, a little line right here for his neck, and then one more foot curving out like so. He has short ears, but you can make your ears any length you want. Then we're going to add some fur at different places on our bunny, maybe on his leg. Now this bunny's hiding behind a bush, so let's make another bush like the one in the background. Because in the picture, we'll have our bear in the middle. And this bunny can be hiding from the bear. And the bears can be a little bit intimidating, especially if you're this tiny little bunny rabbit. And in our bushes, let's put a few curves like that. Here and there, 
just extra leaves. Now, let's add in a little bit of dirt. I'll put a few broken lines like so. And do them in clumps, like one some there, some back here. Maybe a little bit right there. And there's no right or wrong way to this. You just make it however you like. But our forest floor is looking much more interesting, I think. And you can make a little rock in there. Maybe a rock here. And then there might be some grass out there. So just put a few blades of grass here and there. Far away, they might look more like little dots, but that's okay because they're smaller in the distance. And then let's put a moon up in the sky, a full moon. And you could make a better circle than I did, but that's okay. And then let's make a loose broken line like so. And we can put some partial circles here and there on our moon because those can be craters and some lines and doodads. Maybe a cloud, which is a lot like drawing a bush, but just a little bit bigger, a little bit looser in terms of the curves. Let's do one more over here. You can put your clouds wherever you like, make them any shape that you like. And that is our outdoor scene. Good job, everyone. Wow, drawing that at Forest Scene really was a lot of fun. In fact, I think I'll draw another one and I'll put more trees and more animals. You should try that. You can have a lot of fun. And remember, it's your picture. Make it any way you like. Anyway, if you had a good time with me this time, I sure hope you'll subscribe to the Drawing with Cheesecake the Cat Show. And until next time, draw, 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 and draw some more. Bye-bye.